Hello friends and welcome to the channel. My name is Amir and I'm a fifth year architecture student at the London School of Architecture. And in this video, I will be talking about different ways that architects can use Metaverse to create businesses and earn money. So if you are an architect or a 3D artist and want to see what you can do in Metaverse, stick around and watch this video and maybe consider subscribing to the channel as I'm posting weekly videos on similar topics. Now, what is Metaverse? Let's start with a simple explanation of Metaverse. The term Metaverse recently gained so much attention as Mark Zuckerberg changed his company name from Facebook to Meta and proposed a vision for what he called Metaverse. Zuckerberg's concept envisions a virtual reality world which is built on a blockchain platform where all of its focus is on social interactions. Meaning that, for example, you can have a virtual house, maybe next to your friend's house who lives in another country in real life. Then you get to play games with your social circles and even strangers and build social relationships in the VR world. And there's no such thing as the metaverse. There are currently many different metaverses with different focuses and appearances like the central land, somnium space and the sandbox. And bear in mind, all of this was not built in a year or two. Companies like Facebook were working on the idea of Metaverse for at least a decade. Now, the core idea of Metaverse is not anything new. In fact, other types of Metaverses existed since at least two decades ago, like the game Second Life. But there are few differences to what we call today a Metaverse versus what a game like Second Life was all about. First of all, the new Metaverses are built on blockchain platforms, making them decentralized. Meaning that if you own an asset in a metaverse, you can actually own it on blockchain, which gives you complete ownership of the asset in digital world. In the future, where these virtual worlds will be interoperable, you can even take your stuff when you move from one metaverse to another. Secondly, the currency in metaverse is cryptocurrency. Each metaverse has its own coin, and you are required to use a crypto wallet to be able to spend or earn money in Metaverse. And obviously, you will always be able to exchange your cryptocurrency with fiat currencies when you have to. And thirdly, although most of the current Metaverses can be accessed via normal PCs, they will mostly be accessible via VR headsets in future. And the idea is that the VR headsets of the future will be much more lighter and comfortable to wear for longer hours, therefore making it possible to carry them everywhere and wear them without too much hassle. Now let's talk about what architects can do in Metaverse. If we assume that the value chain of Metaverse consists of seven different layers, including experience, discovery, creator economy, spatial computing, decentralization, human interface, and infrastructure, architects may develop a variety of businesses in each of these levels. What experiences can architects design in Metaverse? Now the first area where architects can start playing an important role in Metaverse is designing experiences in the Metaverse. Every single day we use architecture to create experiences for people. And Metaverse is a great place to exercise innovation in creating new types of experiences that aren't feasible in the actual world. Architects, for example, may use and modify their lost competition projects to create new virtual environments that can support a variety of activities and events. Unbuilt projects such as Fun Palace may be brought to life in virtual worlds, providing amazing socializing and learning possibilities for Metaverse citizens. Or imagine if projects like Newton's Cenotaph, with all of its otherworldly character, come to life in a Metaverse, and even host concerts or events where people can come together and watch performances. Architects can also help other artists to create the experiences that they want to, to perform or demonstrate their artwork. In July 2020, 45.8 million people watched Travis Scott's astronomical tour in Fortnite. Sources in the industry say that the artist can earn up to $350,000 per appearance in a video game. Travis Scott potentially earn half a million. Now, people like Travis Scott need designers to help them design these virtual experiences, from the stage set to lighting and environment, to every little detail which can help the artists to communicate their idea best to the audience. And the second exciting area where architects can play a role would be to help design the infrastructure of Metaverse. Now, this could be helping to design the master planning of Metaverse cities and helping to shape the environment in which people would live, 
but for the sake of this video, I want to emphasize on new innovative ideas where architects can take part. As Metaverse blurs the boundary of space making and programming, artificially intelligent spaces are probably going to be the next big thing in designing Metaverse spaces. Mark Zuckerberg has already shared a video of his vision for implementing AI into designing environments in Metaverse. Although we still have quite a long way to go, but I can imagine architects and AI engineers to collaborate multidisciplinary to create AI-driven spaces. This also helps the people of Metaverse to design their own customized houses without so much need of paying an architect or a 3D artist to design it for them. Although design of individual houses will still be a thing in Metaverse, but quite similar to real world, it would be a luxury for those who can afford it. The majority of people would have to rely on creative and innovative tools which are provided to them in each Metaverse to design their houses and spaces. And helping to design these sets of really interesting tools can be the next job for architects of Metaverse. But why do we need a house in Metaverse at all? And what is our relationship with virtual spaces of Metaverse? These are questions that I will expand on in my next videos. So if you are interested to know the answers to them, please consider subscribing to the channel and maybe like the video if you found it useful. Also, feel free to tell me about your interests and fears in Metaverse in the comment section. I hope this video has helped you to gain a better understanding of what architects could do in Metaverse. I hope you have a great rest of the day and see you in the next video.